My name is Nick Henderson, I'm 21. Currently I'm Project Coordinator for Youth in Poverty Dundee. I'm Director of a charity called the LGBT Network and I do some consulting for youth-led groups. And I first got involved in Rules Not Whispers um, back in 2007 in the first phase. It's led me on to working with a project called Youth in Poverty Dundee, which I helped set up with the other Dundee P leader, Jackie. And we've been training a whole bunch of young people in Dundee on quite similar Rules Not Whispers skills and um, we're leading them out to South Africa this uh, July to work with Youth in Poverty over there. My name is Keith Driver, um, I'm a Social Policy Officer with the charity Citizens Advice Scotland. Uh, I first got involved with Roars Not Whispers in February 2008, their phase two. After the, the excellent training I got with Roars Not Whispers, I started my own youth project in Edinburgh called Klansky. Um, Klansky brought together the young Polish community in Edinburgh and uh, tried to help them integrate into the, the Scottish community. Um, something like 1 in 50 young people in Edinburgh are now Polish people, so I thought it was a really important issue for, for young people. Um, we've had a number of events, we've had music events, uh, sporting events, uh, film nights, just to try to bring the two communities together and I think we've had some real successes. My favourite memory, or the one that sticks in my mind most, is going whitewater rafting down the River Tay in the middle of winter with um, a group of other peer leaders from Phase 1. Um, and I hated it and it was terrifying, but um, the memory of how we worked together as a team has kind of inspired me to keep going through um, difficult times since. I think my favourite part was um, being lucky enough to be a facilitator at the Civicus Youth Assembly, uh, which Roars and Whispers were involved in in Glasgow in 2008 and uh, being privileged enough to meet so many different young people with different experiences. I really feel Rules Not Whispers has kind of made me who I am today. I think it's given me confidence and abilities and skills that I never thought I would have before. I feel that I gained a lot more confidence in expressing my views and I gained a lot of uh, skills in making sure that I, I get those, those views heard. I also met a lot of young people um, that I hope will be I'll be friends with the rest of my life. I was one of the six that were elected to sit on a panel at the World Economic Forum in Davos in Switzerland and talk about youth issues with other young people from around the world and that's been life changing. And Words Not Whispers also helped me get involved in the British Council's Living Together Network um, which brought together people from across Europe uh, to share their views on, on integration and as I'd uh, start a, a youth group with Polish people through Not Wars, Not Whispers, uh, they invited me across to Poland um, to give my um, sort of experiences and, and views of the Polish integration into Edinburgh, which was a, a brilliant experience as well. Zavikis was fantastic. I've loved both Zavikis I've been to, and the second one really stuck in my mind when we got to try out loads of fantastic different participatory tools like open space and it's the things I've used again and again and other people have been able to really um, buy into the participatory methods and, and use them a lot in their own work too. I think there's three key things to remember. Um, one is to learn, one is to listen and one is to lead and you have to experience them all at different times and you have to go through situations where you'll need all of those skills and really have to um, work out how you can use them. I think young people have such great energy and so many great ideas. It's a shame that not more of them don't uh, get the opportunity to, to air those views. And I just encourage young people to look for projects like Rose Not Whispers and to make sure that their views are heard.